I'm with Dr. Mike Bessus, General Secretary of the Bible Society in Lebanon. Mike is also a member of the International Council of SAT-7. Welcome, Mike. Although you work for the, uh, you look after the Bible Society in Lebanon, I know that the work also spans some of the neighboring countries. I wonder if you could just tell us a little bit about the Bible Society's work. Well, the Bible Society in Lebanon has always been a servant of the region, and for a while we were called the Bible Society in the Levant. Me uh, right now we take care of our colleagues in Syria and Iraq, including uh, Lebanon, and uh, of course, Although that part of the world is suffering a lot, it is amazing to know that the distribution of the Word of God has increased, even doubled during the last few years. That's because people have more thirst to understand the Word of God and they need the encouraging and comforting Word of God. So it is good to know that even in despite difficult circumstances, the Word of God is still much sought for in this region. That's truly amazing. I wonder if you could just say um, sum up for us what you see as the ch your chief concerns um, about the events in the region and what your hopes and prayers are. Well, mainly the, the number one concern for us would be the, uh, what appears to be the emptying of Christians in the region. This is not the first time, this is not the first wave of persecution in the region. Uh, but it is quite disturbing after all the lessons we've learned in the past that the persecuted body of Christ is actually uh, the, 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 uh, the seed for Christian growth. We still see intentional emptying of the region from its indigenous inhabitants who have been here for 2,000 years. That is probably our number one concern, although we take comfort in God's word that we will always be a minority, we will always be a pinch of salt or a small light in the corner. And so that does not scare us. What does worry us is seeing our sisters and brothers thinking that if they leave the region, they would find comfort somewhere else, whereas you will only find comfort where God has purposefully asked you to stay and witness for him. Um, as you know, SAT-7 has been involved in Lebanon from its earliest days, and our first broadcasts were here, and in 2014 we opened new studios. I wonder what part you think SAT-7 plays in serving the Middle East Church, uh, those believers who are facing persecution, um, and uh, those believers who are seeking to witness to the light of Christ amidst all that is happening. Uh, that's a very good question because as Bible societies we've always existed on the ground yet we are sometimes uh, uh, we have hurdles from getting an encouraging message across borders or to or to certain communities whereas SAT-7 with its ability to broadcast into any home at any time uh, without any of these restrictions and any of these uh, boundaries uh, actually complements our work and the work of the church because here is a broadcast Christian agency in the service of the Christian body in the Middle East supported by the global body of Christ uh, being able to access the good news send it to people who are in much need for it so even if you have physical studios in Beirut since 2014 and that is really wonderful news the power is not in the building or the studio. The power is in the ability to send the message, broadcast it to places where physically other organizations are unable to get that message out there. The final question I had uh, relates to uh, plans to develop an academic um, an education channel called SAT7 Academy, um, which again is designed to surmount the other obstacles of young people and also older uh, their parents in accessing education. What do you think um, the, the contribution could be of an education channel? Well, that's a very personal question because I am involved in education on several levels and our cry for an educational channel in the Middle East uh, dates back about a decade. We have all types of channels, religious, uh, secular, but really no one has invested in the education of our young people. So SAT7 Academy comes as an answered prayer and an answered 
call because education, by only through educating the new generation, will we be able to uh, cast new values in the region? Will we be able to uh, educate people about what democracy really means in the region? And uh, we find that Sat7 Academy, the timing of it, is just perfect for the region. Mike, thank you very much for spending time with us today.